Hello, Steve here from Furnace USA, and if you live here in San Jose and you're looking for a ductless air conditioner, you come to the right place. We are going to go over all the different aspects of ductless air conditioners, um, what they're about, how they work, all that kind of good stuff. If you just want to schedule a quote, just click a link on this page. You can self-schedule your own quote. Um, otherwise, um, just give us a call at our San Jose um, office at the San Jose number that you see here. Ductless air conditioning is great. Um, it will cool your place very, very well, but there is some good things about it and there is some bad things about it. I recently sustained a cooking related injury. Uh, I grabbed a hot pot. That's why I have bandages on my finger. So this will be in the video that you see here. So ductless uh, air conditioners, um, they're, they're the ones that sit up in the wall. They're like a rectangular unit sitting up in the wall which then has to connect to an outside unit. So if you live in an apartment and you're looking for a ductless air conditioner, um, sometimes the limitation can be how do you get part of the unit sitting on the outside of your building? Because the thing sitting in the wall is not going to do any cooling whatsoever. That's just a fan. And that brings in basically the refrigerant from the outside and then it transfers the heating back to the outside. And But the, the unit itself on the wall doesn't do anything. You need to take that heat and put it outside. So. If you live in almost all newer apartment buildings, there's not a place that you can put it outside and your strata uh, or your um, your HOA is not going to allow you to, um, to put the unit on the outside. So that's a bit of a downside, right? Um, because what we need to do is drill a hole through to the outside or cut a hole through the glass and a lot of times the apartments are not going to allow that. So um, then you're back to the stuff that you maybe already have at your place, like the portable units, the stuff from Costco, uh, the window shakers, the stuff that you don't exactly want to deal with. But as long as you can get one in. So let's say you're at an older apartment that will allow a ductless air conditioner to go in. Great. So we drill the hole, we put it in. So the, the other downside to them um, is wherever we put one of those heads, we have to physically run pipes about this big around from the head back to the outdoor unit. So if you have a house or you have like a detached house or even a townhouse, there's a lot of places we can run the pipes. We can put them in the attic, we can put them in the crawl space, we can put them in, in different places, and we can hide the pipes. But if you're in an apartment again, um, the challenge is where do we cut the holes uh, to hide the pipes? And where can we, you know, where can we hide everything? So a lot of times you need to, up in the corner of the room, you need to box the ceiling and stuff like that. So they can get quite messy. The upside to them is um, the positive to ductless air conditioners is that you can individually, independently heat or cool different rooms. So if you have a, uh, um, a ductless heat pump, you can, uh, you can individually heat or cool different sorts of areas. So um, a heat pump and an air conditioner is, is interchangeable. So you, if you have a ductless heat pump, you also automatically have a ductless air conditioner. So they're one and the same thing. So ductless heat pumps are um, um, fantastic. They work great. They work down to cold temperatures, but you know the drawback is they make a bit of a mess of your place when you're doing the installation, which then the HVAC contractor like ourselves, we're not finishing contractors. You need to hire a separate painter, a gypper, or all this stuff to kind of deal with it. So ductless heat pumps in terms of cost, if you're just trying to do one room, they're pretty good, right? They're going to set you back um, you know, not as much as a whole home air conditioner. Again, the challenge is if you need to do five rooms, it could cost you three or four times more than a whole home air conditioner. So ductless heat pumps, preferably, what you're gonna to want to do um, is anytime that you can, put in a conventional heat pump system. So the box is outside your house, you have a conventional duct system that it's connected to, and uh, that's all you need, right? So use a ductless heat pump if you have to, um, because you have no other choice. Um, but if you can, always use a conventional system because they're gonna be less expensive, with less holes to cut, all that kind of stuff. So thank you for watching this video about ductless air conditioners here in the San Jose area. Um, to schedule a call with us, just click a link on this page or uh, just uh, give us a call here at our San Jose office.